Hello and welcome to Jurassic Reviews. On this episode, we'll be taking a look at another figure from X+. That figure is the Yuji Sakai Godzilla 1984, the standard version. Before we begin, here's a look at the box it comes in, featuring some awesome artwork that is typical of the Yuji Sakai line. Now let's take a look at the sculpt. This figure stands about 11 and a half inches tall and about 18 and a half inches long from head to tail. So it's on the shorter side like many of the other figures in the Sakai line with the 95 being the only exception, I think. When this figure was revealed, it was an automatic pre-order for me. It actually shipped from Japan back at the beginning of April, but due to delays with shipping, it just now got here, which is fine because this was worth the wait. This one, along with the 2002 from last year, are probably the meanest looking Godzilla figures out there. Looking at it head on is probably my favorite angle. The combination of the large eyes and the closed mouth just look awesome. The body is filled with tons of detail, the scales and tree bark like skin look great. I really like the pose of this figure. It's pretty neutral but captures the suit beautifully. I always like this design of Godzilla. It's really unique and more evil looking than the Heisei suits that would follow. Looking at the dorsal plates, they are nice and large and feature some nice bumpy textures on the larger plates. The tail is pretty awesome, and extends out pretty far, so make sure you have the shelf space for him. Looking at the head, like I said before, he just looks mean. The mouth is almost all the way closed, an aspect that seems to vary from figure to figure. I think mine turned out pretty well, but I have seen some pictures out there with some mouths that are a bit more opened, which is unfortunate, as I think the more it's closed on this guy, the better he looks. Despite this though, the head remains the best part of this figure. There's tons of details, from his nose, to the little spikes forming on his head, to his tiny ears. The teeth also look great, further adding to his menacing look. And again, he has those large eyes that look awesome when viewed head on. Now let's move on to the paint, which is similar to other Yuji Sakai figures in that the majority is painted a really dark gray. It's almost black in appearance. It's okay, though I do think it holds back the details on the sculpt just a tad, at least as far as visibility. The toenails and fingernails are painted a yellow and black gradient. The yellow was pretty bright, especially when compared to the rest of the figure, and it really stands out. Moving to the dorsal plates are where things actually get a little more interesting. When people started getting the Rick versions of this figure, which is a light up, it was revealed that the dorsal plates featured some blue paint on them. It was thought that this blue paint was going to be exclusive to the Rick version, but it turns out that the standard has this blue tint on its dorsal plates as well. I really like this added blue paint. It adds some much needed variety among the sea of gray dorsal plates in my collection. There is some silver and light and dark gray too, but the blue is a nice touch. Moving to the head, the teeth are painted a yellowish color. It's similar to the toenails and fingernails, though there is some added red paint on them as well. The eyes are amazing. They are painted white, but there's some small red painted veins. There's also some orange in there, and black painted pupils. I would say overall the paint job is pretty solid, despite the body paint being pretty dark. Before I give my rating for this figure, here's a comparison with other figures. Here it is with the Sakai 91.
Here it is with the Sakai 95. Here it is with the Sakai 2001. Here it is with the Sakai 2002. And finally, here it is with the standard 30 centimeter Godzilla 1984. For a rating out of 10, I give this one a 9.5. This is another amazing release in the Sakai line, and probably my favorite Godzilla figure of the year so far. It pretty much reminds me a lot of the 2002 Sakai from last year in its execution, which ended up being my favorite X-Plus figure from 2019. There are a few quality issues out there it seems, like the mouse more open than others, and the really dark paint might not be for everybody. Still though, it's one of the best 1984 figures out there, and amongst the best released by X-Plus. There might still be some of these out there as of the release of this video, so get one while you still can. I recommend it. And that does it for the X-Plus Yuji Sakai Godzilla 1984 standard version. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.